Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is All Hallows Eve, so why not carve some pumpkins? So I went out to a local farm and I bought two pumpkins. I just bought a normal, uh, normal sized orange one, but I really liked the stalk on this. This year I also bought a white pumpkin as well. I don't usually get a white pumpkin, but I thought I'd do something a little bit more different this year. I've already took out all the stuffing from on the inside of uh, both of these mainly because it takes forever to take out. So this one, I'm planning on carving an owl into it, like an owl's face. Um, and this pumpkin, I'm planning on doing a uh, drawing on a sugar skull on the front of it. Um, so hopefully it'll look cool. If not, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, in the meantime, I will be answering a few sort of uh, spooky Halloween-y questions as well at the same time. Let's get cracking, shall we? Just so you all know, I'm also suffering from a cold, so that's why it sounds funny as well. The hair. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the design on it first, just the outline. I'll answer a few questions as I go along as well. Uh, would you spend a full night in a haunted hotel if someone paid you to? You know what? I probably would anyway. I mean, the thing is, when it comes to Halloween, like, what I love about it is the is like all the decorations and um, like just the theme. Like you can just have a really good like laugh with it. Obviously, parts of it is pretty like scary and stuff. But like as a kid, I always used to like love it just because you get to like dress up and just have a bit of fun, go out trick or treat and stuff. So the thing when it comes to like Halloween and stuff is. I'm not a huge fan of like horror movies. I actually hate horror movies. So that's the only bit that I don't like about Halloween is they always put on some kind of like scary movie on the TV or something. Um, I remember I went out clubbing a few years ago and they were playing the film Halloween. When I was younger, that was one of the first horror movies that I watched. And from then on, I've always hated well, I've always disliked um, Michael Myers from Halloween. Like, it used to really, it used to be one of my fears. He used to be one of my fears when I was little, but I, I'm over it now. That was on at a club when I was there, so I had to like avoid looking at the screens whilst I was out having a good time, but I was drunk, so I didn't really care too much, to be fair, and I didn't really pay much attention. So, would, what was the original question? Oh yeah. Would you spend a full night in a haunted hotel? Um, but yeah, I probably would. Probably would, yeah, why not? Right, um, I've drawn my design on here. I'm just gonna start carving it out. I've got a really big knife, I've just realized. I might have use a smaller one, but this is pretty big as well. Um, do not use knives at home. This is quite a sharp knife, actually. Have you ever used a Ouija board? No, I have not used a Ouija board, and will I use one? Probably not. I do actually believe, I do believe in ghosts, um, I do believe in the paranormal, so I feel like if I did end up doing that, it wouldn't end up well, to be fair. Do you have a hunch about the way that you're going to die? That's a really weird question, I don't know why, I don't know why that's even on there. No, I don't, I don't like knives. She's saying that as she's carving the pumpkin. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of knives in like horror movies and stuff um, and I've always thought that like the worst well, I wouldn't say it would be the worst way but like I wouldn't want to get stabbed but, ugh, it's really hard maybe I should have got one of these carving kits you know that everyone keeps raving on about I feel like it would have been easier than using an actual knife have you ever had your tarot cards read um no I haven't but yes I would like to um, I actually want to get a set myself. I keep saying that I want to get a set, um, uh, but I don't actually own a set, but I would like to own a set. Um, oh no, I have. I have. No, no, tell a lie, I have. I have. Um, but it wasn't by, <laughs> it wasn't by anyone like professional or anything. So, my favourite question. In a zombie apocalypse, what would be your weapon of choice? So, my first weapon of choice would be a gun if I can. If not, it would be a sword. I'd love to just wield one, why not? And if it's not a sword, 
don't know, are we looking at everyday items, I suppose? I'll grab a baseball bat, but a baseball bat will do nothing to it, but hey ho. How long would you think you would last in a horror movie? Now, probably not that long. No, you know what, I probably would. I'll probably last a little while in a horror movie, mainly because I'm not one of these stupid people that will just hang around and just hide in a cupboard. Like, I would like run somewhere, like, if I can, and just find a weapon and fight back, basically. It depends what kind of horror movie it is. If it's ghosts, then I'm fucked. I ain't gonna, there's nothing I can do about it. If it's zombies, then yeah. Yeah, I'll probably, I probably would hide with zombies to be fair, because they, they're quite dumb, really, let's face it. But if it's like a serial killer that's like after me, then of course I would run. Is there any horror movie you refuse to watch because the trailers are too, have scared you too much? Any. Any horror movie. Everyone knows this. I don't like horror movies. Have you ever had an experience with the paranormal? Yes, I have. But I had this when I was younger. I must have been about 10, 11. I was in my room to sleep. Um, and then I woke up and I see my um, granddad standing at the edge of the bed. Now a lot of people will probably end up saying, oh, you know, it's because you're a child or your mind plays tricks on you and stuff, which to be fair probably does. Um, you know, it's the same with mythical sort of creatures like fairies and stuff that, um, you know, us adults, we're not supposed to see as many kids are supposed to see that sort of thing because kids have more of an open mind. Um, so it could be that. Could be. Obviously you just can't really prove it. Can that one is pretty much done. Um, let me see that I'll show you guys. Okay, so that's my first design. Um, it's an owl, it's an owl's face. Hopefully you can see it. Um, obviously I'll stick a tea light in it in a bit anyway, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. This one that I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be drawing on this one, so it's going to be a little bit more different. But I'm going to do some eyes, uh, nose, and probably cut out teeth. And then what I'll probably do is I'll draw around that. Okay, so I have cut out my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. Now I'm probably going to just do these black outlines for the moment, and then hopefully I'm going to add some colour. So I'm just going to use, these are just like colourful permanent marker pens. Um, I'm just going to use the black one first, a bit like Sharpie, just cheaper version. Would you rather get bitten by a vampire or get bitten by a zombie? Hmm. Bitten by a vampire or a zombie? I think I'd rather get bitten by a vampire rather than a zombie. I feel like um, a zombie would be a little bit more aggressive when it comes to biting me in comparison to a vampire and also I would like to turn into a vampire why not like that cool are you afraid of clowns no I am not um, I have a friend who is I am not afraid of clowns I mean yeah I can see why they can be a little scary from time to time next question would you agree to participate in a seance Yes, I would. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Like, I believe in the paranormal, so I think it would kind of be a bit freaky, to be fair. But hey ho, like, um, I think it would be fun. Like, I love watching shows like Most Haunted and stuff because they're just funny. Are you convinced ghosts exist, or do you I really answer that one? Do you look forward to Friday the Thirteenth, or are you dreading it? Um. Friday the 13th doesn't bother me at all. Um, like it's one of those, isn't it? It's like a myth, so it's kind of like, no, it doesn't bother me at all. Karma, on the other hand, karma likes biting you in the ass. It's actually going to look really pretty. These colours aren't working on here as well as they would on normal paper, so at the moment they're kind of looking a little. 
but um, also because the pumpkin's wet as well, like I'm trying to draw around the mouth and it's just not working. But yeah, what I've done is I've done a few flowers on here, um, a few like stalks and stuff. So this one's not actually that like Halloween-y, like, it's not really terrifying, but um, it's more fun really. Let's me get my creative side back out again. I think we're done. Okie dokie. So, I have my first one, which I've carved a owl's face on it. And then my second one, I drew a pen on the top and I've coloured it in. And it actually looks pretty cool, to be fair. Once it's got a tea light in it as well, I think it'll look even better. Um, so yeah, I just used normal like permanent markers on these, on this one. Uh, you can do any design as well. I've literally just scribbled like bits and pieces on there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below um, what you're doing tonight. Um, post any pictures like post them to me uh, via Twitter or anything, what your pumpkins look like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.